Happy St. Patrick's Day, friends. Now, here's a fun fact about me. I will make meat exactly one time a year. Once a year, I will buy the meat, I will touch the meat, I will cook the meat, I will do that for my family. And it's for St. Patrick's Day because we make corned beef. So I got this corned beef and for those of you who watch me unpack my groceries, you know I got the corned beef and I studied lots of different recipes. Usually I just like throw it in and like boil it. But today I'm gonna to do it in the Instapot because one, the Instapot kind of scares me. I'm not gonna lie, kind of scares me. But we're gonna do it together. And that's gonna make it not as scary. And then you're gonna see, oh, if Melissa could do it, I could do it. So what I'm doing right now is opening this meat pack that's a little bit scary for me and um, putting it in my clean sink and picking it up and taking the spice pack off of it and rinsing my meat. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Rinse my meat. Meat is rinsed. So over in my Instapot over here, I have the, you know, the little trivet. I'll put that. I think I'm gonna put the fat side down. Should I put the fat side down or up? I'm gonna, I'm just putting it down. I have no idea. And then with my same meat shears, I open the spice pack and I'm gonna sprinkle it on top. Do you wanna come over and see what it looks like in here? It's very large. So it's in. I'm gonna add some water. And this is a new one. This is a new one. I'm going to add some beer. What kind of beer, Marissa? Um, the kind of beer that you just have at your house. I don't, I don't know. This is just, this has, was a cute little can of beer. I'm sure Guinness would probably be better, but I don't have that. Sorry, maybe I should go get Kristen. Then I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. Just pressing it. Right? You remember my trick. We do not peel the garlic. I just put it in my garlic press like that and do that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Then we're going to just turn it on for 90 minutes. 90 minutes. Now normally when I made this every other time in my children's life, I am cooking it like on the stove or in the crock pot for hours and hours and hours. But the Instapot, 90 minutes. So, oh, my hands. This is the, do I know how to do this part? This is entertainment at its finest. I don't, I don't even know how to do this. Oh, I did. Did I do it? Okay, I think I did it. Sealing, venting, sealing. Okay, now let's figure out the buttons. Um, meat, an hour and a half, right? I think it's going, I think. Okay, see you in an hour and a half. Oh, oh, it's going. It's done. So um, it's shriveled up a lot. I wonder if that's normal. Okay, now with corned beef, you're supposed to cut um, against the grain. I hope I'm doing this right. Miles, does that look right? Oh, with that nice little fattiness right there. So for all my meat lovers out there, I hope you enjoyed this one time a year that I'm making this meat. So the other hot tip, right? You can use the broth. So, got it right here. I'm just gonna cook the cabbage in that. I did the potatoes not in not in there. You can do them all in the Instapot. I just didn't do them in the Instapot because I'm, I wanna eat the potatoes. Um, so let's plate it all up. This is gonna be great. I brought someone to taste it. I made him a perfect bite. It has a little bit of the corned beef. 
some mashed potatoes. And isn't that cabbage brilliant? It's from the backyard. Oh, my feet are like a baby. That's yummy. Friends, Instapot, Instapot. I used one of your beers, is that okay? I'm happy for the sacrifice of the beer. So 90 minutes. If you haven't bought your corned beef yet today, there are always plenty. It's there. It's going to be fine. Just call the store ahead of time. Maybe make sure, but, um, you can, you can do this and you can do it in a regular pot too. You don't have to do it in this spot. You can keep eating if you want. Well, I mean, I I'm good. I'm going to skip this one today. Mm -hmm. uh, that cabbage though, in the broth, uh, from the Instapot, you can make it in the Instapot too. Just like simmer it until it's done. Yeah. It's good. That's very good. So there's my uh, once a year meat adventure. And I will uh, see all of you meat eaters next year on St. Patrick's Day. Have a great day. Hooray. All right. Happy. 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 St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm.